Let's hurry up. Number three. Now please look up. This is the most important purpose of God in your life as far as earth is concerned. As far as earth is concerned. The third point I give you is that only God can give you true peace and fulfillment. Please write it down. The third reason why you need God in your life is that only your connection with God guarantees peace and fulfillment. Everybody please say peace and fulfillment. Most people, please look up. You see, respectfully speaking, most of us here are uh, there are very few people here who are already established from all of the indications of establishment and so most of us are on a journey or beginning the journey to establishment and so on and so forth so you may not value things like peace and fulfillment because you are still trying to make ends meet there is a level when you get to you will find out that nothing in life sustains the ability to give you peace the highest index for measuring wealth is peace write it now in advance and thank me decades to come the highest index for measuring wealth for measuring um, relevance is peace the highest measure of wealth and freedom that's what I wrote here the highest measure of wealth and freedom is peace three scriptures quickly Romans chapter 5 verse 1 chapter 5 therefore being justified by faith Koinonia read on with me we have peace with God hold on don't rush peace with God is different from the peace of God Peace with God means I have made my way right with God. Peace with God. It's not the same as the peace of God. That you have made peace with God. That means when I look at God, I stand with joy knowing that there is no barrier that interrupts fellowship. Peace with God. Peace with God. It says we are justified by faith and now we have peace with God. Most people do not have peace with God. We may have money. We may have titles. And these things are not wrong. We may have all of the things that people chase after. But when you lack peace with God, there is a serious problem. Because at the end of your life, what will give you fulfillment is knowing that my ways are right with God. Look how the generals that transited in recent times transited. Reinhard Bonke, knowing that his time was almost there, he was with joy and gladness. He came to Nigeria, preached his, he knew it was his last message. He said it. He had raised Daniel Kolenda. He had put everything in place. And he said, Earth, I see you when we join the cloud of witnesses to come and pick the rest. He waved Earth by with God. These men knew where they were going. They were not hoping. No. Billy Graham, one of the few people who finished his assignment and remained and were just watching earth. You will know a man has finished his assignment. Set up the Billy Graham Institute and when it was time with honor and with joy, he waved his hand. Same thing, T.L. Osborne. There are people who wake up and say, where am I? They say, you are not on earth again. No. It's over. It's over. What happened? The last thing I know is that I left one city. I was hurrying up to go. It's over. Period. Where is my PA? It doesn't exist here. Where is my certificate? It doesn't exist here. Peace with God. John 14, 27. It's a good Valentine message, isn't it? John 14, 27. <laughs> Read 
read on with me koinonia ready one to read peace i live with you listen 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 jesus is speaking here peace i live with you among the many things he listen there are two things the bible tells us we should expect one peace to the holy ghost peace i live with you you need it so much forget joy it will come but peace i live with you my peace i give unto you not as the world gives he says give i unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid that means these two things will remain in your destiny until the peace of god comes to drive them out trouble fear will remain in your heart until the peace of god comes to build a garrison the peace of god Shalom. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. A state of restfulness. Look at me. The peace of God is not based on results. The peace of God is a supernatural impartation of that dimension. You can be in the midst of fire, yet you are like the still waters. If you are waiting for everything to be in place for you to have peace, that's how the world gives. But there is the peace of God that in spite of every storm in your life and your family, it is true that you've not paid your rent. It is true that things are, you know, haywire, your academics, your life is true. You've not had a child yet and people see you and you are completely restful. Because there are few things that are worth dying for. There's a peace that I have in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and these peace in my heart only comes alive every time I hear your voice comes it comes alive There are some of you who are doctors here look at me young people now are depressed over nothing is because they have not had this message you see people wrinkled you guess and say you are 40 say no i just clocked 28 what has added your age like that the trouble that continues to disturb people i need to make it i am not teaching you to be irresponsible but hear me you will die for nothing and the world will bury you and keep moving. You need to learn to come to a point where you say, Hey, shut the door at every trouble and everything and find rest. He leads me beside the steel. Life has a noisy way of depressing you. Left, right, till now you've not gotten a job. Till now you've not married. The child has not come. This has not happened. Today, Valentine, nobody called you again. You see, all those kinds of... Listen, listen to me. When those things happen, it's amazing. Your BP begins to rise. You know why? You are thinking nonsense. That is not the mind of Christ. And yet you can be completely at peace. Where will my school fees come from? Where will my rent come from? Listen, worry does not solve today's problems. Worry kills today's peace. It kills today's opportunities. It destroys tomorrow's door. So that you cannot even make progress in your life. Jesus took a whole chapter to talk about worry. Listen, this is a very powerful message. Learn peace now. Don't wait till they pay you salary. If your peace depends on your external environment, Satan has mastered you. It means you are about to die fast. Only comes alive every time I hear your voice. Not every time I receive an alert. Not every time I receive an award. Not every time I feel I am making progress. The voice of God is my peace. Ah. A state of restfulness. Not irresponsibility. Restfulness. Lord, you are in control. Why will you be awake and I will be awake too? One of us should sleep. You have chosen that you do not sleep nor slumber. So let me find sleep. 
Many people don't sleep because of all kinds of depression. What is happening to my father? What is happening to my mother? And Satan just adjusts. Hey, do you know they just said that um, the land that your house was built upon, there's supposed to be a road there. And they're going, ha, ah, what will I do? And you see people, no. Say, my soul, find rest. One more time, prophesy. Say, my soul, find rest. of winds and when all that nonsense is gone then here he comes the still small voice are we together do you know that every time we are troubled we should change the power of god from coming to our lives it is only when you are at rest even doctors will tell you when they want to carry out surgical operations on patients and they find out that their BP is vacillating, they will have to say, look, find a way of stabilizing these people emotionally. Is that true? They gather their family members to crack jokes. They find something that makes them happy. It's been proven that when family members are gathered around sick patients or things they like, it can aid their recovery. I was watching, I think it was the day before yesterday or so, on the news when they were showing people in China dancing to ease the whole the coronavirus. And people were just dancing. And it's, if it makes them happy, why not? Listen, beware of prolonged depression, gloominess, when, when the peace of God does not find expression in your life death is being ministered to you you are dying already it's not when you are sick and cannot move are we blessed peace second thessalonians chapter 3 verse 16 now the lord of peace himself give you peace how long by all means you know what by all means means whatever it, it will take God to shake to ensure that you remain the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means the Lord be with you all the Lord will give you peace by all means that is it is based on his desire to give you peace that he prospers you if he notices that the, the peace is being interrupted because of poverty, he will switch and attack poverty and take it personal. Not because he's really interested in money. The goal is that you find peace. Please understand this. When God lifts you, when God blesses you, when God wipes your tears, this is what he wants to give you. And he said, by all means. This is why he keeps pumping mysteries upon mysteries. He's giving you all the keys. It is his by all means agenda to make sure that whatever it will take, you do not remain small. The Lord of peace himself will give you peace always by all means. Are we blessed? So your relationship with God, this is the first most important priority in your life. Please look up. Believers, hear me. It matters that you make up your mind now that nothing will ever make me leave God in this life. You would think what I'm saying is very simple and very easy. No. Make up your mind. What shall separate us, the Bible says, from the love of God? Then it begins to list many things. For many people, they've not even seen one tenth of those things. And yet they are, they are here because of God. I will wave you and will reconsider it when you, are in, when you are serious with me. People have left God because of marriage. People have left God because of money. People have left God because of education. People have left God because of all of those things. That you get to a point where you say, Lord, the issue of leaving you is like an initiation. I'm there and there for good. 
make up your mind that I'm stuck with you and I'm stuck with you genuinely. I'm not using you. I am here to stay and I'm here to stay eternally. Now listen, your relationship with God is worth fighting for. Your relationship with God is worth dying for. Your relationship with God is the highest, the noblest pursuit on earth. Fail in every other area of your life and ensure that you are rich towards God. You still want. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. There were two men hanging on the tree. They were thieves. And one of them was arguing and talking a lot of nonsense towards Jesus. And the other one, you know, began to call on his mercy. And he said, this day, you will be with me in paradise. Straight up. Because he made a decision to be connected to God. Many people would rather be connected to politicians than God. Rather be connected to this. Now, men are important. But God first. In the beginning, it must remain so in the beginning not later in the equation god mm -mm. in the beginning god god is not an option when all else fail you say god talk since there's nowhere to go let me just no, no, no. in the beginning and from the beginning let it be god from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you jesus Oh Jesus, I just wanted to sing that point from beginning to the end, Alpha Omega. God, forever. I'm with you for the long run. I'm not with you for 10 years. I'm not. Have you seen people that you meet and you say, ah, I used to know you? And they'll tell you, well, those days, FCS or SU or something. Say, now, nah, the reality of life has made us to go. Where did you go to? Jesus looked at the disciples and said, will you also go? He said, to whom shall we go? No matter what happens in your life, please always make sure that you are on God's side. Guarantee that you are safe. Are we blessed? The first priority in a man's life is your relationship with God. Number two, the second most important priority in your life worth dying for worth living for worth sacrificing for is your family family is a very important thing in the sight of God family is a very important thing in society hallelujah family life is very important the most important unit of society is family Society is full of all kinds of institutions, religious institutions, judicial institutions, commerce, centers for commerce, but the most important unit and institution in any society is family. Someone say family. What is the purpose of family? Why is family important? I will give you two reasons number one your family in most cases will be your greatest support and motivation system put it this way your greatest support and motivation will almost always come from family family will generally provide you the greatest support system and the greatest motivation why is family important because your family both nuclear and then extended your family will usually not in all cases but in most cases will be the last place that you can fall back on when all fails no matter what you become or don't become you are almost sure that no matter what it is family will be your greatest support and will be your greatest motivation listen from scripture there is no guarantee that you have indefinite support and motivation anywhere the strongest support system and the strongest motivation system in your life will almost always there are very few exceptions 
but almost always be family it was because of family relationship that Joseph looked at his brothers and did not lock them up and looked at them and said you guys what you did 12 years but we are family sit down and eat family is very very important Job when Job lost almost everything in his life the last person who was standing with him was not his brother was not Elihu was not the other two gentlemen the Bible says in Job 42 verse 10 that when Job prayed for his friends so he had friends that were alive where were they he had friends that were alive but they were not there but his wife stood even though she was talking a lot of nonsense at least she stood the person that insults you and stands <laughs> is like flogging a child and say, I will kill you. And you are still shifting him from the junction. Are we together? Family is very important. Look at me. If you do not understand the power of family, then you will be building catastrophe in your destiny. There is no guarantee that your church, koinonia, job, business, anything will indefinitely guarantee you. When everybody, listen to me, said crucify Jesus. When everything happened, at least when he resurrected, angels came. The Holy Ghost came. <laughs> On the third day to bring him back to life and where did he go back to talk to me he went and a throne was prepared at the right hand of the father and he sat down listen please hear me your family is very important first your physical family and then your spiritual family your spiritual family is also family they are the only ones who have the ability to take your nonsense and still love you. The whole world does not think you are that much of a big deal. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Family is very important. Family is very powerful. Your greatest support, your greatest motivation will come from family. Now, this is true. Listen, look up, please. And if you understand this, then all of the other things like marriage, relationship, destiny connections now become something you pay attention to. Why? Because you now know that your greatest support is family. You can lose a job, but you, your family remains your family. Even when they say they disown you, it's just a psychological statement. Are we together? family is important and that means that for you to excel in family life it requires serious preparation whether it is relationship whether it is marriage anything that has to do with family life my brothers and my sisters listen to me very carefully family life is a serious issue that requires very serious preparation the Bible says there is no man intending to build a house, he says, who will not sit down and count the cost. Write this down. The most important key to sustainable relationships and marriage is knowledge. The most important key, there are many other keys, but the most important key To sustainable relationships and marriage is knowledge please say knowledge the most important key to relationships and marriage and family especially within the context of marriage is not love no love is important but more than love knowledge 
broadly speaking wisdom knowledge and understanding proverbs 24 please give it to us from verse 3 and 4 you will need wisdom you will need knowledge you will need understanding through wisdom proverbs 24 and verse 3 says a house is built it says by understanding it is established verse 4 and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with precious and pleasant riches everybody say i need knowledge i am convinced look at me please i am convinced that one of the reasons why family life in many many circles around the world continues to um nose dive is because we do not pay attention to the knowledge dimension we only pay attention to the emotional side of marriage now watch this do you know the reason why although there are accidents they are minimized relative to the number of cars because they don't allow you to drive until you go to a driving school is that correct you go to a driving school you learn how to drive you are certified by a driving school it would take a while they would test you when you go to make your driver's license are we together they check you they profile you they make sure that you are doing well ideally speaking now and then eventually they give you the access to drive but anybody can just pick a lady from anywhere and just go anywhere if a church rejects you you go to a garden if a garden rejects you you stay at home and quietly you are married and because of that there is a lot of clash of opinions and ideas this is very important is bishop Oedipo who will say there is no new generation truth truth is truth believe me if all you take to the table of marriage and relationship is love you will be disappointed Everything you hate now, you once loved. Knowledge. Knowledge. Marriage in today's world and relationships require more than love. There are many things that need to be put in place. You need to have understanding of who a man is, who a woman is, conflict management systems, leadership, parenting, finances these are real issues it doesn't mean you must know everything but there is a level of sufficient preparation listen no level of preparation and investment in marriage becomes a waste remember that marriage is for a lifetime marriage is not for two years ten years fifteen years marriage is not for when children come so no matter what kind of preparation it is very important is God blessing us family is very important when you lose family you have lost a major thing you will not die but you will be greatly affected you can lose a job and get another one you can lose money and have it again you can lose your reputation and build it back but when you lose family you lose a lot are we together we must trust God to build families that last and the key to building families is not the emotional activities of love 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 here and there it's more than that it takes knowledge wisdom understanding because the challenges that come in family are real issues that are solved only through knowledge they are not emotional problems alone and they require knowledge if you are together with me say amen. amen hallelujah for instance the bible gives us you know in all fairness let, let me let me let me give you a confession I, I i i contemplated a lot whether i would talk about family you know and marriage and relationships and all of that um i thought about it but um I knew that I owe I owe you teaching you the truth of God's word number one and then number two it's an uncomfortable truth but let me tell you this the variables in marriage 
are too many to learn about marriage through opinions. 